Hello nurses, this is Camp with Nursing Camp and this is Cardiac Camp in the Heart Assessment. Today I'm covering you hemodynamics from my sticky notes on the hemodynamics, specifically about cardiac output and ejection fraction. So let's get going. So cardiac output. So cardiac output, also called CO, is the amount of blood that is ejected out of the heart from the left ventricle over a minute. So that's important because the left ventricle causes oxygen blood to go out of the heart to the fingers and toes. And that's important because we need oxygen. Now, cardiac output normal measurements are for to eight. Okay. The way I remember that is CO, right, for cardiac output. I put another O on top and now I have my number. All right. So that will be eight and half of that is four. Okay. So 48, four to eight liters per minute. And that's cardiac output. Though generally not tested on in the NCLEX, it is the concept that is, needs to be understood. Because when there's a decrease of cardiac output, there is, oh, not CO2, <laughs> decrease of cardiac output, there's no perfusion. And no perfusion means that the brain doesn't get perfused. So therefore, the heart will try to increase its heart rate to compensate for this decreased perfusion. So we'll cover in another lecture about cardiac output, about all the specific reasons re regarding it. But in this lecture, I'm covering cardiac output with ejection fraction. Now, ejection fraction is similar to uh, cardiac output. But the issue with ejection fraction is ejection fraction is the amount of blood, the volume, that is ejected out, percentage, okay? So when a patient has a MI, and there's a damage in this vessel, it doesn't really pump as well. And because it doesn't pump as well, the problem is, is the ejection fraction, the EF, is not adequate. Now that is is not a problem until it gets less than 60%. Once it's at 60%, the patient becomes symptomatic. It's kind of the golden rule. Less than 60% on an EF ejection fraction, um, they're going to be symptomatic. And what do I mean by symptomatic? Well, if it's right-sided, heart failure, the fingers and toes, okay? So they're going to get edema, and they're going to get hepatosmegaly, which means that the liver gets congested in the spleen, so they get congestion in these organs. So the rest and digest, the butt and gut, all starts to be filled up with fluids. Okay. However, on left-sided heart failure, that's acute because that's the lungs. And if it can't eject out, you need at least 60% to have good perfusion. If it's less than 60%, you don't get good perfusion. And then what happens is, is that the body generally will say, listen, we need 60% perfusion to maintain normal fluid volume. And normal fluid volume in the body is in a plasma and a blood tube. Okay, So in the, in the blood tube, when we draw a blood tube, we have plasma, and then we have hemoglobin, hematocrit, blood. And this is the fluid portion. That's 55%. And the... Blood portion is 45%. Now, this is the principle. When you have an injection fraction that's less than 60%, it 
it can't maintain this normal mechanism of blood volume, 55 to 45%, because there's not enough pressure, because the ventricle is not working well enough. So it can't increase the amount of percentage. So what happens is, is in the vessels here, in the, in the vessels, it wants to be 55, 45%, but the heart isn't working. So what happens is, is now all of a sudden the heart, the vessels, will start to say, hey, wait a second here. The fluid starts to fill up. And when it starts to fill up, this fluid portion, this plasma area, gets to 60, 65. And that's too much fluid on board. Okay, So if that fluid is built up, it's either going to go to the right side, if it's a right-sided problem, or the left side. It's going to go to the lungs. So that what happens in the hemodynamics is, is that this will start to will start to say, wait, we want it 55-45. So this 60-65% will say, listen, we can't have that. So what we'll do is, is that we're going to try to get rid of this fluid. And that fluid starts to seep out. Okay. So now because it wants to maintain this 55-45%. So once it starts to seep out, that's why we see edema in the legs. On the right side, that's not a problem. Okay, so but on the left side, that is a problem. It's a problem because it starts to seep out onto the lungs. And when it seeps out into the lungs, we hear crackles. So it's because all this water is outside. All right. And so now it's only the body's only trying to protect itself, keeping at 55, 45 percent. But the ejection fraction is less than 60%. So it can't keep this, maintain this 55, 45%. So what happens is, is the fluid has to go somewhere to maintain this normal hemodynamics. Well, this is the problem. Then we hear crackles, this becomes acute, and then that becomes a problem. So what we, what we do is we give Lasix. We give Lasix. And we say, basically, Lasix... Let's decrease this volume over here and say, okay, well, let's decrease it to 50%. So it gets to 50% and all of a sudden the body says, wait a second, you're 50%. You shouldn't be 50%. You need to be 55 So it says, where are we going to get the fluid? Well, it's already right here. And that's why we give Lasix. And then it goes back in and now we have 55%. And the patient maintains Lasix. So... Cardiac output versus, whoops, hey, what's going on over here? Cardiac output versus Lasix versus um, ejection fraction. So cardiac output is mainly the, the reaction of liters per minute. And that should be 4 to 8. More important is the volume. And that volume is re representative of, of ejection fraction. And that ejection fraction it needs to be greater than 60%. How do we get the ejection fraction? Well, in order to see that, we need an echocardiogram. And that echocardiogram will look at the heart and it will measure this percentage. So whenever you're looking at an echo, look for EF, ejection fraction. If it is less than 60, they'll be symptomatic, and that will be a problematic. And that patient will probably be on Lasix. So monitor your patients. My name is Camp, and this is Nursing Camp with Cardiac Camp, and I'm covering NCLEX and, and um, my sticky notes, and this is for my hemodynamic principles. Um, these are my scribble notes, and I'll see you on the other side. Um, nurse on.